Pakistan's northwest frontier, remote, inaccessible, and home to a revitalized and increasingly brutal Taliban. Four Corners has gained exclusive access into these forbidden zones. We'll investigate how the Taliban have busted out of their mountain strongholds to unleash a wave of violence to bring down the state of Pakistan. It could lead to anarchy in this area. Unless the Pakistani state takes on these terrorists, then the state itself is deeply and gravely threatened. If they succeed, the consequences will be dire, not just for Pakistan, but for the world. Tonight on Four Corners, Pakistan on the brink. Highway west of Islamabad is Pakistan's finest. It's designed so the military can move fast, a capability that may soon be tested. We're on our way to Peshawar. It's about 200 kilometres from the capital, Islamabad. Many people are calling Peshawar the, the new front line in the war on terrorism. Most of the city is surrounded by the Taliban. So we're going to go there and investigate and just see how bad the situation is. Peshawar is the gateway to the Taliban heartlands of the northwest frontier and the federally administered tribal areas. The Taliban are gunning for Peshawar. If they take this city, the rest of the country is seriously under threat. Foreign journalists don't come here anymore, and the only way I can get around is with a police patrol. It's the police who are the first line of defence here. They put on a brave face, but some refuse to serve. Just in the last week, the Taliban has bombed two of their checkpoints. We don't have the resources. Our country is a poor country, and then our province is one of the poorest provinces in this country. Basically, we need the bulletproof jackets. We need transport, mobility, proper wireless systems, and equipment for collection of intelligence, tracking of mobile phones, tracking of vehicles, and aerial uh, surveillance, so that we know what is hap happening in and around uh, the cities and in the peripheries. It's easy for the Taliban to infiltrate the city, and once inside, they resort to killing or kidnapping. In the last several months, we've seen a US diplomat narrowly escape assassination. An American aid worker was killed. Afghani and Iranian diplomats were kidnapped. In the last year, the Taliban and its associated groups have kidnapped 140 people. Wasima. It's dangerous to move alone, so I joined up with Shaukat Katak, a senior local journalist. He's watched his hometown become a war zone. Even the army was uh, called in and they have conducted a huge offensive uh, to combat against uh, such uh, elements uh, which are posing threats to Peshawar. Our visit downtown will be short. No more than 15 minutes in any one place to avoid kidnap or attack. So where are we going to go? Uh, it's, it's called Kisakhani Bazaar, the, mo, the one of the historic uh, bazaar of Peshawar. Two years ago, a foreigner could spend the evenings.